I think really what we're experiencing is the second coming of the Constitution, right? But maybe the second coming of the Constitution isn't just a, uh, a United States thing. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Where uh, the Bill of Rights applied to every human on the planet. Mongo like Sheriff Bart. Hey, everybody. So, that good logic stream. I just finished it. Uh, it was a long one, it was about two hours, but he talked about some really cool stuff. He talked about uh, the Freedom Trucker Rally that's going on in Canada. And I think that's amazing. Um, and from what I hear, that is uh, spreading uh, across the globe. Uh, I hear they got one uh, popping in Australia right now. I hear they got one popping in England. So, you know, and we've been, if you guys are just sitting there watching Fox News still and uh, MSNBC uh, and, uh, you know, all that other crap, um, I mean, th what are you thinking? Uh, the only reason to watch that is to keep track of the propaganda. So you know what they're trying to use you uh, against you. And uh, like I said in that other video, uh, you could talk uh, their language uh, when you get into a conversation and uh, try and plant the seed of uh, being rational. So um, the title of Good Logics, uh, and I think I'm going to title this, the, this is very, something very similar. Uh, was the second coming, you know, that, that always conjures up visuals, right? And up in the uh, upper left-hand corner of his thumbnail, it says, uh, this is not religious, right? So I think I'm going to do that because I think really what we're experiencing, uh, well, let me, before we get there, before we get to what I think we're experiencing, do you guys remember 9-11 right after, uh, for my American viewers, um, this, the, the amount of intense solidarity solidarity that we felt as a country. Everybody was uh, walking around, uh, you know, with American flag shirts. I mean, nine out of 10 cars had American flags flying off of them. I mean, it was a great time and yet a sad time to be an American. Uh, the camaraderie of that, where there was none of this, uh, you know, white guys are racist and, you know, LGBT this and Black Lives Matter that. And, you know, it's, it was a different time and it was beautiful. And what I see right now with what's happening in uh, Canada and across the globe, uh, the, the phrase that came to me was the second coming of the Constitution, right? But maybe the second coming of the Constitution isn't just a, uh, a United States thing. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Where uh, the Bill of Rights applied to every human on the planet. And every human on the planet uh, really kind of understood that and didn't question it. Uh, just, you know, basically living in the spirit of you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. But damn it, let's be a good human, shall our cross pass, right? Isn't that the way it should be? That's what I was thinking about there. But, uh, we just got to get past, you guys remember also, a time even way before 9-11. Caddyshack and... All those kind of movies. Oh, God, what are, what, what are some other ones? Uh, God, there was Caddyshack. Blazing Saddles. You know, all those Mel Brooks classics. Kids, if you haven't seen those, uh, your parents have been doing you a disfavor. Uh, Airplane. Uh, I mean, come on. In, uh, in uh, what do you call it? Uh, shit, Blazing Saddles. That was it. <laughs> The old man sitting on top when the uh, when uh, sheriff uh, sheriff Bart was riding into town and uh, the sheriff the old man standing up there looking through his telescope the sheriff's in here the sheriff's in here I mean come on that's that crap's awesome now I say that crap's awesome because that was the time when we could all just laugh at ourselves you know that that movie made fun of everybody and everybody at the time enjoyed that movie. 
they weren't out try, trying to cancel uh, everybody in the movie or any of that kind of stuff. I miss those times. Those are fun. <laughs> Mongo like Sheriff Bart. Right? Um, but yeah, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be great if we can experience that time, that amount of tolerance for each other uh, on a global basis? Wouldn't that be amazing? But the only way we're going to do that is uh, for you, I'm talking to you, my viewers, and uh, to tell everybody, but you specifically, because if you're watching my channel, it's because you're about making change or at least supporting those who do. And I'm grateful and appreciative for that. So I ask you, what the hell are you doing about it? How are you going to make that happen? You know, um... I had a conversation with a buddy and uh, we were talking about, you know, all this crap going on in the world. And, you know, that that was my thing to him, you know, is what the hell are you doing about it? You know, you know, he's one of my very best friends, uh, love him dearly. But, you know, he, he's he's at times and, you know, after the conversation, he, he actually did something about it. I was like awesome but what, what the hell are you doing about it you know you sit there and you, you watch tv you have conversations with your friend you bitch and moan about how politicians are horrible dr fakey is king but what the hell are you doing about it you know get off your ass make a phone call send an email i mean i'll be goddamned if i'm gonna you know have my kids say what you know when their kids are older and whatever happens, whoever wins this great battle that we're in right now, and my my grandkids ask uh, my kids, what did grandpa do about it? At least I did something about it. What the hell are you doing about it? So, um, that's what I have, people. Uh, go check out uh, www.noidforyou.com. Uh, Suspicious Person t-shirts with... Uh, state IDs on them and uh, your Arizona uh, citizen survival cards uh, with the top 10 laws Arizona police use to limit your freedoms working some, on some other states, working on California right now, I'm hoping to have those out soon uh, but uh, you want to support me and what I'm doing uh, that's how you do it um, I'm not going to ask for donations any of that kind of stuff for what I do uh, you know, I, I believe firmly that, uh, you know, for the act activism that I do, it doesn't take any money, you know, but, uh, if you want to, uh, support causes, uh, support businesses and people who are trying to scrape together a buck, shop local, uh, shop American, uh, you know, uh, I get enough of these, uh, t-shirts done and, uh, and sold off this Teespring store, what I'd like to do is take all the profits for that and I'm, I want to bring it local. So I want to get it off Teespring. I want to do it uh, do it local uh, here in Arizona if I can. Um, you know, build a relationship with somebody that uh, is like-minded and uh, give them my dollars. Um, you know, not Teespring, you know, hey, they provide a good service to get us off the ground and do what we do, but uh, let's support each other, right? Let's do that. All right, everybody, I'm done talking. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Uh, always remember, rule number one, don't be a dick, be a good human. Thanks for watching, No ID For You. If you'd like to support the channel, please go visit the merch store at www.noid for you for your suspicious person apparel and Arizona citizen survival cards. With the top 10 laws police use to limit, suspend, or terminate your constitutional rights.